Bonjour, c'est Clara French in the Midlands. Today's video is about the main French question words, how to use them, and I'm going to tell you about the three levels of language you can use as well. Let's start with our three levels of language. First level is what we call posh, which you find in books only. And unfortunately, this is the kind of French they teach you at school. What they do at school is they teach you the written French, but they teach you to speak the written French, which is wrong. So we'll see what the standard French is in this exercise. Standard is for both spoken and written. It's fine. And then, of course, you've got the very familiar or colloquial level, which we only speak and we don't write. Let me give you some examples. The first question word is probably the most complex, but it's not really difficult. You just need to understand how it works. Qu'est-ce que, que and quoi all mean what, but they're used differently. And the difference is due to their familiarity. So have a look at this. Posh question. Que fais-tu? Que fais-tu? What are you doing? This is what you learn in school. Nobody ever speaks like that. This is what you see in books. Standard French. Qu'est-ce que tu fais? What do you do? Or again, it could be what are you doing? Because remember in French, there's only one present tense for I do and I'm doing. It's the same thing. Familiar. Tu fais quoi? So that's something you would say to your mates or to your family. At work, in daily life, use the standard, qu'est-ce que tu fais? The what question is the one I used first because it really demonstrates the three levels perfectly. All these sentences obviously mean what do you do or what are you doing, as we said before. For the other question words, you'll only have two levels, posh and standard or familiar. Standard and familiar is the same. So that makes your life a bit easier. Just remember this one. It's quite important. You will hear qu'est-ce que tu fais a lot and you will hear tu fais quoi in familiar settings. Now let's have a look at some examples using qu'est-ce que. Qu'est-ce que tu manges? Which means both what are you eating and what do you eat? Qu'est-ce que tu veux? What do you want? Qu'est-ce que tu lis? What are you reading or what do you read? You may notice in French, we don't have the do you of the question in English. We say, qu'est-ce que tu manges? We actually say what you eat. Qu'est-ce que tu veux? What you want. Qu'est-ce que tu lis? What you read. It is actually an easier way of asking a question. Because in, in English, you have to remember to add the do you, which French speakers struggle with. Now let's move on to the next question word, which is qui. It means who. So the posh way of asking who is it would be qui est. The normal way, standard and familiar, c'est qui. You will hear c'est qui. You will never hear qui est. You will see qui est written in books. And they both mean who is it. The next one is quand. Don't say quand. I hear that all the time. People say that to me and I don't understand what they mean. And I have to remember they mean quand. So it's really important you get the pronunciation right. It means when. Posh way of asking when is it is quand est. The standard way and familiar way is c'est quand. Much more direct. It's when. And they both mean, when is it? Now for comment. Comment means how. Posh way of asking how is it is comment est. How is it possible? Comment est possible? Very posh. Now for the standard way, standard and familiar, c'est comment, how is it? It's how, literally, much easier. They both mean the same. But as you can see, they're phrased very differently. 
Now let's move on to the next one, which is pourquoi, why. Posh way of asking why are you crying is pourquoi pleures-tu. Standard way, pourquoi tu pleures, or tu pleures pourquoi even. They all mean one, why are you crying. Next one is où, which is where. Où with an accent. Because if you come across où without an accent in a sentence, it means or. It's a linking word. But this means where when it's a question word. So if you want to ask where is he, the posh way, it's où est-il. The normal way, il est où. Or even if you want to insist, insist il est passé où, where on earth is he. Il est passé où? We use that quite a lot. Say you're looking for your glasses and you're getting quite annoyed. And instead of saying, elles sont où? You go, elles sont passées où? It means, where have they gone? It's more insistent. Next one is combien? Which both means how much and how many. So the posh way of asking how much is this would be combien cela fait-il? Nobody I know has ever said that. We say combien ça fait or ça fait combien? I tend to prefer ça fait combien myself, but that's entirely up to you. And they all mean how much is it? Now I thought I would add esque to the list. Technically, it doesn't mean anything by itself. All esque does is, te is tells the listener that a question is coming. So whereas the posh way of asking are you well is allez-vous bien, the standard way would be vous allez bien or even est-ce que vous allez bien? So you see that esque doesn't add anything to the question. You could actually remove it and the question still makes sense. It's something we use really to introduce your question because as you can see with vous allez bien if you forget to raise your voice at the end or don't do it very clearly it actually it's a statement that means you're well so you're actually saying you're well and to avoid any ambiguities you can use esque but it's not it's not compulsory i don't use it every time and they all mean are you okay if you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And you can claim your free ebook, The 12 Golden Rules of French, for free. You just click the link in the description and it'll be emailed to you. A bientôt!